in the second question there is a triangular field abc whose coordinates are given and if watering costs rupees 10 per unit square so they're giving the cost of watering the field and it is so and so amount per unit square that is area how much would you have to pay for the whole field so we would like to find out the area of the field and then if the fencing wire around the field costs rupees 5 per unit how much would he have to pay for three rounds of fencing around his field that is find the perimeter so find the area and perimeter of this particular field so if we consider this to be our origin the triangle is made of these points 1 comma 1 this will be 9 comma 1 and this is 1 comma 7 so this is our triangle this is a this is b and this is c and you can see that ac is completely vertical its x coordinate remains the same it is 1 and ab is completely horizontal its y coordinate remains the same which is 1 so this is a right angled triangle now we could use the area of triangle formula and the area will be modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 the whole divided by 2 which in this case is going to be you can take any of these points to be x1 y1 and the others to the next one to be x2 y2 and the next one to be x3 y3 the how you choose x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 doesn't matter the order is what what is important applying this formula we get our x1 is 1 and y2 and y1 y3 are both 1 so 1 into 1 minus 1 plus x2 is 9 y3 is 1 y1 one is 7 plus x3 that is 1 into y1 minus y2 is 7 minus 1 this becomes y2 this whole thing is evaluated to this is 0 and then we have 9 into minus 6 is minus 54 and 7 minus 1 is plus 6 the whole by 2 so this is 48 by 2 upon taking the modulus and that is 24 square unit however the same problem could be approached in a slightly different way which is if I observe that this is a right angle triangle, I could just do half into base into height. And here the base would be the length AB. That is half into AB for which the height would be the length AC. And now since AB is horizontal, we can directly take the length to be x2 minus x3, which is the difference in the x coordinates so we have half into x2 minus x3 is 8 into ac is the difference in the y coordinates because it's completely vertical which is 6 so if i cancel this 2 with 4 or 8 we get 4 and we have 24 square unit so this worked out because our triangle is a right angle triangle. So now the cost of watering is supposed to be the area into cost of watering per square unit which is 10 rupees. So total cost of watering is equal to 24 into 10 that is rupees 240. 
for the second part of the question we require the perimeter of this triangle because fencing is done along the perimeter and they have to do three rounds of fencing at the rate of rupees 5 per unit so we first find the perimeter the perimeter would simply be ab plus bc plus ca which is ab is clear it is 8 units ca is also clear which is 6 units bc needs to be figured out and bc we find out using the euclidean distance that is the square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is the square of the difference in x coordinates plus the square of the difference in y coordinates the whole under root so this gives us 1 minus 9 gives us 8 so we have minus 8 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is going to give us 7 minus 1 that is 6 square so we have root of 64 plus 36 and that is going to be root 100 so we have 10 so this quantity is 10 and thus our perimeter is also 24 units and we need wiring for fencing around 3 rounds so we will require 24 into 3 is equal to 72 unit of wire and then each unit has been fixed a price of 5 rupees so we have 72 into 5 is rupees 360 is the cost of fencing 